The gods of hundreds of mythologies meet to discuss humanity itself. Humanity has shown itself worthless, its malice, and its sin, thus humanity has signed its own death warrant. So through unanimous decision, now the gods join together to cast their divine wrath upon their greatest mistake. Humanity is now met with a gruesome end. However, the Valkyrie Brynhilda interrupts their final decision, declaring humanity deserves a chance to fight for its survival. Naturally, the gods dismiss her proclamation as a useless one, only for her to take their dismissal of her suggestion as that of fear. This invokes the gods' wrath and curiosity, leading to Zeus's agreement to this challenge. In order to combat the gods, Brynhilda searches throughout human history to find the strongest, most remarkable humans to have ever walked the earth. She takes the 13 strongest humans at their prime, bringing them to Valhalla Arena where they will do battle with the gods. With little ways to combat the gods with conventional weapons, the humans will wield the Valkyries as their weapons through Vlond. This gives humans the ability to kill gods, but this comes with a steep drawback for the Valkyries themselves. Vlond links the life of both the humans and the Valkyries they wield, meaning if the human perishes, then so too will the Valkyrie. The matches are not finished until one combatant is dead or they surrender, and the price of defeat in this tournament is the complete removal from the cycle of reincarnation, meaning the extinction of the dead soul. Humans and gods alike are risking their very existence in this tournament of survival. The rules have been established, and the strongest of the gods, Thor, takes the stage in the first round. Lu Bu, the most brutal of humanity, comes face to face with the Mjolnir's wielder. The battle for the strongest commences, as does humanity's struggle for survival. <laughs> Lubu's army is brought back to witness their leader's greatest battle. However, they are not alone. Gods, mythical beings, and humanity throughout 7 million years of human history are present to bear witness to the greatest tournament in the infinite cosmos. Figures from Lubu's era are present, speaking to his greatness and the respect they have for him as a general and warrior. Thor isn't equally as hyped up, but the man's definitely washing Lubu in the drip department. However, still, the warriors were present for a battle to the death, and they felt the same thing as their confrontation began. They lowered their guards and approached each other. The two were of completely different breeds. They had two totally different upbringings, yet possessed the same thought. Could they defeat the foe in front of them with one stroke of their weapon? They tested this thought going head to head with one another. In their time, they were the strongest, and amongst the thousands of foes they had faced before, not a single one could contend them in single combat. So this moment of equality on the field of battle was a new feeling. Thor recognizes his foe through a brief exchange, placing his hammer on his shoulder, and prepares to use one of his strongest moves against Lu Bu. Though, the battle is interrupted by recollecting Thor's protection of Asgard, saving his home and slewing multiple giants that made mincemeat of Asgard's forces. These terrifying beings possessed immense strength that struck fear into the hearts of many, but in the face of Thor, they were nothing but ants. Thor was bored by how little of a challenge they posed, yet still his protection of Asgard caused his name to be immortalized. His deadly strike used to protect Asgard was given a name. Thor's hammer. A gigantic explosion erupts from the stage, but does nothing to hurt Lu Bu as he delivers a slash to his divine opponent, causing Thor to spill the first blood of the round. While shocking to the gods and humans alike, yet another thought spills out of the minds of both Lu Bu and Thor at the same moment. If the two were born at the same time, and of the same race, then the two could have had a truly worthy rival to fight and kill. Lu Bu's life was dedicated to becoming the greatest. He would challenge anyone and any beast, whether a savage wild bear or an army of trained men. He mowed down all in front of him. Over his 30 year journey, he had come to a sad realization. No one under the heavens was his equal. Even still, his strength was eventually overcome and he was to be executed by the victors. At the moment of his execution, he begged for his life. Except that wasn't the truth. He was never bested in strength. He never begged for his life. He was captured because he was simply bored. He had become the ultimate one under the sun and he was willing to embrace death rather than continue suffering from despair brought on by his boredom. 
However, now he had met someone that could do battle with him to his heart's content, to his soul's content. He could finally smile sincerely in the heat of battle without worrying of his opponent dying in a single strike. It was happiness in alleviation from the despair of boredom, a happiness shared only by the strongest meeting their match. They continue their battle as Lubu enjoys himself even further, forcing Thor to defend himself with his right arm. Lubu's spear activates his ability, shattering Thor's right glove, and Lubu continues to press his advantage. He cuts Thor once more, but the battle pauses at the sight of Mjolnir melting. However, the hammer was not melting, it was awakening, and the truth behind Thor's gloves were revealed. They were meant to be inhibitors for Thor's power, as for him not to crush his weapon before it could endure his wielder's strength. Thor's previous stoic demeanor disappears completely and he is now enjoying the battle thoroughly. Calling his opponent by his name, he no longer looks down on him and fights at his full power. Thor throws his hammer at Lubu to which he evades and tries to rush Thor, but the hammer comes back and the danger of Thor's throws are apparent. Mjolnir had become the ultimate offense and the ultimate defense. In coming back to Thor, Lubu stands up to the next strike of Mjolnir as Thor slams down viciously. Under the immense force, Lubu takes massive damage to his legs, shattering them completely under the weight of his opponent's strikes. But Lubu's fight is not over yet because his horse comes to his aid, giving him the legs he needs, showing that they are truly one in the heat of battle. Thor is truly happy to see his opponent carrying his mangled body to his seed so they can continue to fight. Lubu, despite his unrivaled strength in life, continued to hone his skills. He continued to hone his art of war. He trained every day lying in wait for his true rival to appear and grant his heart's greatest desire. Thor was the only one who could grant this desire, and he challenged Thor with his ultimate technique. It was Lubu's Sky Eater against Thor's awakened Mjolnir. The two clash and Lubu has lost. His spear crumbles away and his right arm is completely mangled. At the sight of this, Thor's bored expression returns. Still, Lubu does not surrender. He doesn't beg for mercy. He simply charges into battle, happy to meet his end, knowing that he gave it his all. Thor, through seeing his opponent's resolve, spares another smile, having enjoyed the battle to its bitter end. The loneliness of the strong and the satisfaction of finding an answer to that loneliness was the theme of this fight. These two warriors had been powerful since birth, only getting stronger as their lives move forward. They come to a stage in their lives when they are plagued by the despair of boredom as nothing gives them a challenge anymore. It's as if they were fated to go on without living up to their potential or ever using their full strength in the heat of battle as they always wanted, but they were able to find the satisfaction within each other they were able to enjoy fighting. The biggest pill to swallow for this fight was that Thor's victory was assured from the start. The fight was meant to give off this vibe because Lubu's thirst was unquenchable. Thor had given up on finding an opponent worthy of his time long ago, but his thirst could be quenched once one did arrive. I feel if Lubu did survive, his heart would be empty afterwards, causing him to fall back into the despair of boredom once more, making it impossible for him to feel like he ever really won. Thor was the true winner of this fight as he could continue onward after the fight was over, unlike Lu Bu. He was the champion of Mjolnir, the savior of Asgard, and the strongest of the gods. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is two weeks after my last video. I did not intend for that, but the editing on this went for so, so long. Moving all the manga panels, all this other stuff, plus real life stuff getting in the way, sort of. And <clears throat> just thank you guys so much. I do intend to make a shorter, uh, less time heavy video next week in terms of editing so it can be produced in a week it'll be a um 
Kung Fu Panda video again. Uh, I guess a lot of people did like that, considering that um, there's been a lot of views on the Tiger's character analysis, which I am extremely grateful for. Sorry for the crack, I, pro I just cracked my fingers. But also, I'd, li I'd like to say thank you guys so much for giving me the 50 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. It's like, wow, the more I see people subscribe, the more I see people like, the more I see people view my videos. It's like a new hit of inspiration to keep going and keep making content. It's just amazing. Thank you guys so much for your support from all my videos and whatever you've watched and whatever you subscribed, liked, and commented about. I am extremely grateful for all the support. It just means the world to me. Hitting this milestone, it just means that we go up from here. We hit 100 next. Hopefully we can hit it before the end of this year. I would love, love, love to be at 100, if not more by the end of this year that would just be a big milestone for me i plan to continue uploading and this time i'll be sure to have it more on a weekly basis i'm planning to make this series a record of ragnarok a series on the channel but um obviously these take a lot of time to make so don't expect them too often if i want to keep a weekly schedule there'll probably be something going on more so in the background while i think of more content and more analysis stuff to uh, look at and that's pretty much how I feel about it if you ever see a drought from like for like two weeks since a video then you'll know what I'm editing it'll be something manga related cuz man does this take a lot of time to make um, aside from that thank you guys so much for watching I just don't know what to say I'm just so tired right now you have no idea but Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share all of this stuff to your friends. Turn on a notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have yourselves a damn good one.